Hello everyone, welcome to the Plains on the Prairie podcast. I'm Max, and today we find ourselves in Hatton, North Dakota, taking a look at this Lockheed T-33 Shooting Star or T-Bird trainer. Um, we'll get started. Uh, it's going to be a short one as me and Sam were unable to find very many, very much information on this airplane, and quite frankly, it's very cold, so we'll keep it pretty quick. Um, so, as I mentioned, um, this T-33, not a whole lot of information is known on it. However, if we come back to the tail, you can see O or 0 dash 16721. So that means it would have been ordered in 1951, and it was the 6,721st airframe delivered that year. Uh, Sam mentioned this in a previous episode, but the zero in front of all that means that the airframe is 10 years old. So it, uh, for anyone in the Air Force from the 1940s up until the 19, early 1970s would be able to know that that is the, um, the way of telling what airframe is old and which one should be retired um, or if there's more maintenance required on it. Um, unfortunately, due to age and sun damage, the uh, markings on this one are all worn out. Um, you know, you have the American star, and then up in the corner, we were unable to find what uh, training wing that was for. Um, however, it looks like some type of bird, and in a previous picture from about more than a decade ago, um, there looked like a planet that was up in the corner. So, uh, I mean, we'll post a picture of it online at some point, and hopefully we can get the questions answered. We'd also like to know, the one part that isn't faded is the tip of the tail which is a club. Yeah, that's a club. So that's kind of cool. A little fun little marking right there. Um, it would seem at one point in time this aircraft was in much better shape. Um, and that was just at least a decade ago. I don't know if whoever kept it just stopped or if something happened. Um, if you can zoom in on the tail, um, it says Air, Air Defense Command. Um, as mentioned, that was in a previous episode as well. A lot of these T-33s were used as hack aircraft or trainers by um, ADC and eventually Tactical Air Command, as well as Strategic Air Command. Um, but yeah, you have the red stripe in the back here, um, signifying where aircraft maintenance could be done, as well as the danger zone by the Bawera Blast right by the tail of the plane. Um, if we come over to the pedestal that it's mounted on, we see it was built in 1965, so this T-Bird would be here for at least 40, if not more, years. Um, and it would have been re retired relatively early into its uh, flying career. Um, also of note is that the uh, landing gear doors have been stripped. Um, I don't know if that's always been like that or if it just uh, fell off over time due to age and corrosion. Uh, as you can see, this bird is pretty beat up. It's, uh, it's unfortunate, but when you put these aircraft on display for more than 50 years, they start to wear out. Um, hopefully, one day that this bird can get restored to uh, her proper glory and, yeah, um, at least get a nice polish and get rid of some of that weathering. Um, so, yeah, uh, thank you guys for joining us today. Uh, we appreciate you guys tuning in. Uh, let us know if there's any other aircraft in North Dakota, Minnesota, South Dakota, Wisconsin that you want to check out. Uh, we'll try and make it out there. But, um, yeah, thank you very much, guys. Have a good rest of your night. See ya.